Hey everyone, this is Brendan from Mechajiki, and in this video we're going to show you how to get started with Render Garden for Windows. So you can see here we have an After Effects comp open. Um, we are ready to render. Usually we would go down here to the render queue and hit the render button, but we're going to show you how to do it in Render Garden. So first you go to me the Mechajiki site, go to the Render Garden page and download Render Garden. The uh, installer is the demo is also the the full version once you put a serial number in. So you unzip it, you get an installer, um, run the installer. If Windows complains, just say run anyway. Um, agree to the license agreement, and it should just install it for whatever versions of After Effects you have on your computer. You can edit those settings if you want. All right, so back in After Effects. Um, if you go to the window menu now, once we get our project open, you go to the window menu and you'll see we have Render Garden as an option. So ask for a serial number, we'll just do the trial version right now. And then it gives us this dialogue telling us that we need to get some extra free software, um, open source software to make Render Garden fully functional. So click the download button, it takes us to this page of Mechajiki. We'll get FFmpeg and Python for Windows. Um, and then once we've downloaded them, we will go to the Downloads folder and uh, we'll install them. So first we do the Python installer and just pretty much the standard default settings will be fine. Let's speed this thing up here. There we go, it's done. Um, FFmpeg does not have installer, so you just extract the zip file and when you go in there into the folder it makes, um, you'll see in the bin folder, FFmpeg and a couple other programs. Uh, we'll just make our own folder in, um, down here in C program files. Make a FFmpeg folder here. All right, and now we'll drag our, these little binaries into that folder. Windows protest, so we'll say continue. Okay, so back into After Effects, get rid of this, and let's actually reopen the Render Garden panel. Say trial again. And now in the dialog, you'll see that it knows about Python, that we have a good Python version, does not know about FFmpeg. The reason is, if you go in here and, okay, let's go open up the preferences. The reason is that you'll see that Python already had a default path which is the default Python installer path. But for FFmpeg, we have to go in here, browse to it, um, pick for the location where we put it. There it is. And okay, well now let's close this again and open it again. Let's see if we have the, cha the message changes, trial. All right, so now it says that we've got everything, um, but it's just giving us this message because we've never submitted. You can also go to the about box and you can see that we have that information there too. If you ever wondered if your Python and FMPEG is working properly. All right, so we have one more thing to set here, the seed bank path. So I'll go back here into my uh, Window Explorer and um, show you how we have things set up for this project. We have an external drive here, drive D, and you can see I've got this projects folder. Um, inside is the folder for this project with the project files and also the footage because we uh, did a click project. Um, for reasons that will be illuminated later when you have multiple machines, you, you're you going to want to have all your projects and all your footage and any files you depend on you know, basically under one folder somewhere, under one drive, one folder. Um, you can't have them, or it's not wise at least to have them scattered around. So we have our projects all in this folder in D. I'm gonna make my seed bank in the same drive. So the D drive has everything in my After Effects universe. So there's a seed bank folder. Now we we'll go browse to it in Render Garden. There we go. Okay. So now we have all our settings set up. Now we'll close the prefs, shrink the window down. You could also dock this somewhere if you wanted. Okay. So like any other project in After Effects to render it, we have to add an item to the render queue. Um, 
RenderGuard needs this because it needs to know the settings you want to use. For example, here we're going to render a QuickTime. I'm going to take advantage of the new ability to record, to write ProRes for Windows. That's a template codec, so we use trillions. Um, so we have our QuickTime settings. We also have to set our output so we know where the final result will be. I already have an output folder here. Notice this under my project folder, your go, it's under my whole After Effects universe folder. Again, that's going to come in handy later. All right, so we're ready to render. Um, up here you'll see I have this setting for seeds. This is how many pieces I'm going to divide the render into. I'm going to say two, just to show you a, a very basic demo. Two seeds. We also have these um, post-render actions. You'll see that by default we just have the render complete alert checked. I'm also going to check MP4. That's going to make an MP4 in the same folder as my output. And that's going to happen after the seeds are rendered, including the combined seed to make that movie I said in the render queue. All right, so we're looking good. Now, here we go. Let's click plant the seeds. All right, so this project got saved and some files are written. So before I go this, let's go back into the seed bank and let's see what got made here. There's a folder for my project. There's a folder for the render queue item there, the first one. And these are what we call the seeds, these dot render garden files we have in here. They're little text files that have all the information about what the gardener script, which we'll see in a minute, um, needs to do to render. You'll notice that the seeds right now all start with the word ready. We use these naming conventions to sort of manage the status. We have some other folders in here. There's the source folder, which contains the actual project that we're going to render that was copied from your normal project location. Um, here we have the segments folder. This is where the individual pieces will render their parts of the movie that later be combined. And this is a scripts folder has these little bash scripts which you can run manually if you wanted to, but you probably don't want to. We want to use the gardener. All right, so here we can launch some gardeners. We're going to do two for our two seeds. Click OK, and there they are. Two gardeners. You see the script? The command that's being run right there at the top, Python, and then our Python script and our seed bank. All right, if we look in our seed bank, we can see that the names of the seeds have been changed from ready to rendering. Um, so seeds one and two are rendering in those two gardener windows. You can kind of see the status going there. Here's our task manager. Um, if we watch the task manager, we'll see that two of the processors will be kind of pegged one for each gardener. If After Effects were rendering alone, it would probably be just one of those processors pegged. All right, so we've sped things up here to get to the chase. Um, and let's see, now we're gonna have, okay, one of those gardeners is finished. You know, this comp has, is fast to render in the beginning, so it's very common for a gardener to finish before another one. Um, so now the other gardener is gonna, we're gonna let that go for a little bit. You see that the first seed is now labeled complete. The other one is rendering. Okay, now it's finished. So now they're going to be both complete. And the next thing is the FFmpeg combined task is going to make those two segments into the one final movie where, and that's going to go where our output was set to. And then finally, we had an MP4 task. So FFmpegs make that MP4, putting in that same output folder. So now that's done. And then here we have it, the uh, render, render done alert. The done alert is right there telling us it took seven minutes. All right, so seven minutes is probably about half as long as it would have taken um, if we'd rendered, than if we'd rendered this straight out of After Effects. Probably not quite twice as fast, but nearly twice as fast. Um, and actually to test this, we can do it again, maybe with four seeds. Um, note I have disk cache turned off here. That's important because if the disk cache was on, it would, it would render very quickly a second time. It would not be a very accurate test. But the disk cache is off. Okay, now to render this, the first thing we need to do is recheck this little box to requeue the item. That's how RenderGarden knows what render queue items you actually want to render is which ones are checked. So just like After Effects. All right, so four seeds. Um, we're going to click this button. Let's look first at the uh, the gardeners we have. You see they're still running, these two gardeners. Um, they're just kind of waiting around, saying, how's your day going, etc. cetera. Um, OK, plant the seeds. Save the project again. Made all the folders again. 
says we have two gardeners running. We're going to get two more going in addition. Click OK. And then let's see if I can sort of rearrange things here so we can see all the gardeners. So see that the new gardeners picked things up right away. One of the old gardeners picked one up. The other, the fourth gardener is sort of about to do that. Um, let's look at the seed bag. We see there's three rendering, one ready. Um, oh, there's the other one rendering. So now all four gardeners are picking up one of the four seeds. If you look in the segments folder, we can see there's three of the movies right now. There'll be another one in a second when that gardener starts writing. There it is. All right, so there's four segments. Um, and we have everything going. Um, once things kind of settle down here, you'll see uh, four processors being pegged, um, perhaps, but uh, might take a second there. So we'll uh, just use the power of editing, speed things up a bit here. You see that the gardener's going. One of the gardeners finished faster because it was sort of the early part of the project. That's common. There wasn't, there, it was faster per frame rendering. All right, so we had the combine, then the MP4, and there it is, the render complete alert, telling us that it took about four minutes. So not quite twice as fast as the two seed, seven minutes, but quite an improvement. Um, and so now we can go through here, we can see that we have our four segments, and then if we go to the uh, output link here, we can see we have our QuickTime movie and our MP4 that we can click on and watch.